Hey, what's up guys, Brandon Washington here. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently. I'm hoping to tell you guys a story that will not only motivate you, but will inspire you to go out and shoot and let nothing get in your way from getting the perfect shot. So without further ado, no intro, let's just start. Our story actually starts pretty simply. Um, a couple of weeks ago, me and Sticks were actually in Los Angeles and we were there to do a couple of shoots and to kind of network and just kind of, you know, uh, have a little fun, kind of get our creative juices flowing again. And while we were there, we ran into this photographer and while talking to him, he showed us his portfolio and on his Instagram, on his portfolio, he had this amazing shot. Um, taken from behind the Hollywood sign. Now, when me and Sticks first saw this shot, we both kind of looked at each other and I could tell we kind of had the same thing in mind and that was, we've got to get this shot. Now, neither one of us even knew that a shot like this was even possible. I personally didn't even know you could even hike or even get behind the Hollywood sign, let alone bring camera gear and be able to get up there and get awesome shots. But sure enough, we both kind of knew it. We were gonna go to try to get this shot. Now. Getting to the top of the Hollywood sign isn't as easy as it might sound. There are lots of different trails that you can take and some, you know, take longer than others and some are harder than others. And we knew that we needed to find the quickest way there. And unfortunately, that also meant we chose the hardest way there. Now, when you get to the hill, there's actually a paved street before you even get to where the trail technically starts. And just from walking the paved hill, I can already tell we might have underestimated how hard this was gonna be. All right, so now we are on our trek up Hollywood Hills. Uh, we can kind of see the sign. Is that the sign up there? That's it. We can see the sign. It's kind of far, but we got a long, long trek. I'm not gonna lie, don't know if I'm gonna make it. Josh is back there. We ain't been hiking for 10 minutes, I'm already exhausted. Here we go. Now I can tell you, as someone who, I mean, I work out pretty, pretty consistently and I try to keep myself in pretty good shape, this was not an easy climb. This was probably the hardest climb I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, and the only thing that kind of kept me going was, I want to get this shot, I want to get this shot. And so that was my driving motivation to climb this mountain. Now when you're actually climbing the hill to get to the Hollywood sign, it, there's a certain path you can take. And this path will not only take you to the Hollywood sign, but on the way there, there's another little viewpoint or another little stop. And this is called the Wisdom Tree. Oh. We made it to our first lookout point. This is a wisdom tree right here. Uh, beautiful flag waving. I mean, this view is to die for because you you might almost die trying to trying to see this view. But I mean, from here you've got the Hollywood sign. I mean, it's just it's a phenomenal view. Uh, I know I complained a lot on the way up here, but I am glad we at least made it this far. Now the plan is to actually get all the way to the Hollywood sign. We'll see what happens, but the goal is still to get to the Hollywood sign. But I mean, take a look at this spot. It is, it's amazing. Now the wisdom tree is this amazing tree that's kind of growing out of nowhere. I mean, there's no other trees around it, but 
this one tree is somehow able to grow on this hill. On top of that, people have brought binders and notebooks and things like that and everyone is kind of writing something inside these notebooks and so it's a really cool place to kind of one just view but then also you can kind of read some of these notebooks and see what people have left behind and you yourself can even leave a little message behind as i did all right just like that we are done with the wisdom tree and we are on our way to the Hollywood sign. We knew that we weren't there for the wisdom tree. We were there to actually see the Hollywood sign. And so that's where we had to go. And so this meant another mile plus long hike to get to the Hollywood sign and nothing was gonna stop us from getting to that sign. It seemed like it was going to take forever and it never felt like we were getting any closer until we saw the green now, the Hollywood sign is actually blocked off by this really kind of hard to see through uh, green fence. And this is how you know you've gotten there. So we knew we were getting close. We had to figure out how to get this shot. And after walking back and forth, trying to find the exact angle, we found it and we figured out how to get the shot. And I'm so excited with how this shot turned out. Now, this is not where the story actually ends because after us getting this shot, some girls actually walked up behind us and they were very interested in the photo that we were taking. And while talking to them, they actually said that they were up there trying to kind of recreate their own photo, but their photo was completely different. In their photo was a girl who was somehow standing above the Hollywood sign and had all of the Hollywood Hills, including downtown Los Angeles in the frame. And when we saw that shot, we knew that that was even bigger than what either one of us had even planned on getting. And we knew we wanted to get that shot also. Now, when we talked to the girls, they had said that this shot was somehow impossible to get and that the Hollywood sign was another couple miles away from where we currently were and that it was almost impossible for anyone to get that shot without some type of aid or assistance from someone in Los Angeles who could get you on top of the Hollywood sign. So we kind of looked at each other again and we knew that wasn't going to stop us. We were going to still try to figure out how to get this shot. But unfortunately, the girls decided that they were done. They were going to turn around and leave. And that's what they did. Well, what was very interesting was less than 15 feet, literally less than 15 feet from where we were, was the spot where they were going to take that photo. See, what was really interesting was that after all that hiking, you actually came up to another paved road somehow. And this road winded right around and took you directly to the top of the Hollywood sign. And this is probably where I'm most excited about this story. See, I went to the Hollywood sign looking to get one image. And there was a lot of obstacles in the way. It was hot. It was very tough terrain to walk on. Um, you know, I had a backpack full of gear. I had drones, cameras, lenses, you name it. And there was a lot of stuff stopping me from getting that shot. However, I didn't want to let that stop me. I knew I had to get that shot. But in the search of getting that one, I think I actually got a better shot. This shot is actually one that you guys might have actually already seen if you've been paying attention behind me. It is the one that sits on my desktop because it's a shot that reminds me that no matter how hard it might seem or no matter how difficult it might be, that if you want to get that shot, do whatever it takes, whether that's photo or video, do whatever it takes. We made it to the top of the Hollywood sign, all of this to get well, what we thought was one shot, then we met some random folks up here. They showed us another shot, so we had to get that shot too. But we've got both the shots. I'm super excited about this, totally worth it. Um, if y'all get a chance to come out here and try to get this shot, you should try it. But just make sure you're ready, because it's not an easy one. I guarantee it's not an easy one, but it's a great one. Because in the process of not only getting this amazing photograph, I was also able to capture some of the best drone footage I've ever caught. And it all started with the desire to get that shot. See, the whole point of this story and the whole point of this video today is I want you guys to feel motivated. Motivated that, you know, the world doesn't see things the way we see them. 
We see photos, we see videos, and we want to capture those things. And that means whatever it takes, capture that image. I know sometimes it might seem crazy to try to, you know, put yourself in these weird positions, whether that's laying down on the ground, shooting up, or shooting when there's a ton of people around you, or you're running around with this giant camera and everyone else is just using their cell phone, but we are not like the norm. We are creatives. And in the process of creating, we should be trying our best to capture what we really wanna capture and letting nothing else get in our way. So there you have it guys. Have you ever been in a situation where there was a photo that you really wanted to take and you went through incredible odds to be able to get that image? I would love to hear your stories. Please leave those comments down below. Also, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I appreciate you stopping by. I really appreciate it also if you hit that subscribe button because if you love filmmaking, photography, tips, tricks, all that good stuff, I'm gonna be making videos like that here regularly as you guys can now see. And I'm also excited to say that our channel has been growing tremendously. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy it. And of course guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.